Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barnett, Looking Point. We help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today we're talking about the WebEx Board 55S. Let's go! All right, we're back and we're talking about the WebEx board 55S, which is behind me. We did a review a while ago on the WebEx board. This is the S, this is a different version. Now what the WebEx board S has is a 4K camera. It's got best overview. It has a multi-touch display. It also has a lot of features around whiteboarding, the ability to share content both wired and wirelessly. It also has a proximity detection feature. So if I walk up with my mobile device and it knows that I have a meeting, it It'll automatically prompt me to join the meeting. So let's get into all the features that the WebEx Board S has to offer. All right, before we get into talking about the features of the WebEx board, let's talk a little bit about the aesthetic. So we've got it installed here with a floor stand. Now Cisco provides a wall mount option as well. If you want to get wheels on it so you can roll it around through the office, you're gonna need to look to third-party options because Cisco only offers those two, a fixed stand and a wall mount. Additionally, it's got some nice cable management on the back of it. So it's got this little magnet option which basically holds the wires in place that makes it really sleek. So if you put it in the back of a conference room, there's not going to be a bunch of wires. It's not going to look like an eyesore, you know. It's, it's essentially Apple-esque kind of feeling with the board itself. Now when we talk about the actual screen, it's got a very tactile feel. There's an anti-glare screen which makes it really nice and it really feels like an enterprise grade piece of equipment. Overall, the camera's kind of built in, so you kind of blends into the board itself. And um, there's a pen that magnetizes to the front of the board. And that's really it from a physical standpoint. It's really simple. There's also a little button at the bottom, which is just used for a home screen. So if you get to another screen and you wanted to get back to the main screen, you can just tap that little button right there. So now I'm gonna demo the sharing screen option. If I press the screen sharing button, it's gonna present me with two options. Traditional HDMI cable sharing, so if I was physically connected. The second option is through a web interface. So if I wanted to share content, but I'm not on the local network or the corporate network that the board is on, I could still share content through that site. And how that works is by sending content up to WebEx, and then WebEx sends it down to the board. So it really provides you two really easy options for people to share content. So now I'm going to show you how to share content through the HDMI interface. I'm going to click the share button. It's going to present me the two options we discussed and then I'm going to click share screen. Once I share the screen, it's now presenting, I've just got Google Maps on my, on my desktop and it's showing that, that web interface. So, if I tap the screen, it's going to present me with a couple of options. The first option is to annotate. If I wanted to annotate during a call, I could. The second option is for me to enable multi-touch. Now, the multi-touch feature requires an additional USB cable connected to my machine. So, right now, I've got a USB, USB connection connected to my laptop, and I've also got an HDMI connection to my laptop. I'm going to press the touch option. Now what that does is, it, is now it's, it turns this into a touch display as if I was, you know, touching my screen on my laptop. So it lets me move things around, it lets me multi-touch, zoom in and out, and that's the touch pass-through. Now I'm going to flip over into the annotation mode. Now the annotation mode will allow me to say, hey, we're going to meet here, we're going to drive down this road, and we're going to turn left. This gives you the option as you're sharing content or as you're collaborating with folks to easily annotate those subjects. So that's sharing through an HDMI cable. Now that we covered wired sharing, let's talk about the wireless sharing through the WebEx cloud. I'm going to tap share screen. Now it's going to present me with a web address to go to, uh, which is devices.webex.com, and I'm going to enter this code. Once I do, it's going to ask me for a pen. Now it's presented me with this code. I'm going to enter the code on my desktop, and then I'm going to be allowed to share my screen. So now that I entered the code, my screen is now being shared to the WebEx board through the cloud. I don't have the multi-touch pass-through capability for the screen, but I do have the annotation feature. So if I tap the board, just like I did previously, and hit annotate, it's going to allow me to draw on the board like I did before. So that wraps up screen sharing on the WebEx board. 
So the next feature we're going to talk about is intelligent proximity. So what intelligent proximity is, is as I'm walking up to the board, it recognizes me through my mobile device having the WebEx client installed on it and says, hey, would you like to join the meeting? In order to do that, I've got to schedule a meeting with the board included and myself. So let's get into it. Hi, would you like to join this meeting now? Yes. Got it, joining the meeting. So one of the challenges with intelligent proximity is, as I was approaching the board, it automatically detected me at a distance, and then I was able to join the meeting. So that's intelligent proximity. Okay, so the next feature I'm going to talk about is the facial recognition functionality in WebEx. What I'm going to do is join this board into a WebEx meeting, and I'm going to join from a different room and talk you through it. Okay, so this is the demo of the facial recognition feature in WebEx. What it does is announce to the other participants in the call who the person is that's speaking. It's done through the WebEx Cloud through facial recognition. What you need to do is take your own picture in the WebEx Cloud, it recognizes you, and then every time you join a meeting, it can tell who's speaking and announces that to the other participants. So that's the WebEx facial recognition feature. So the next feature we're going to talk about is Best View. In order to demo it properly, I need help from my man Marshall who's going to come in and be on this side of the equation, so on the WebEx board side, and I'm going to be on my computer recording the screen. Now what's going to happen is as he joins the meeting, he's going to move around in the video. And what you're going to notice is the WebEx board is going to automatically crop him into kind of like a tighter shot so it feels a little bit better if you're on the far end. So that is the best view feature on the WebEx board. So the next feature we're going to go over is the whiteboarding capability. So if I click the whiteboard, it's going to pull up the whiteboard. And if you'll notice, it's in blackboard mode. So I have the ability here by pressing this button to toggle traditional whiteboard, or I could toggle the blackboard. And for the video's sake, I'm going to keep it on blackboard mode so it's easy for you guys to see. So, the first feature I'm going to show is obviously just drawing. I can just draw a shape, and you'll notice that it just leaves the shapes as I draw them, as you would expect in a traditional whiteboard. There's also a feature called Smart Shape. So if I'm drawing these kind of shapes, it'll automatically clean them up. So it makes it kind of nice as you're whiteboarding to make your whiteboards all that much cleaner. The next feature that I'm going to talk about is the notes feature. So if I wanted to brainstorm ideas, I could maybe have everybody in the conference room come up, write your idea on the board, and we'll kind of categorize and co uh, compartmentalize those. So I'm just going to type in idea and uh, enter it here. This is a great idea, by the way. I'm going to move it over here into this corner, and if I wanted somebody else to come up and put another idea, like a better idea, they could come in here and type a better idea, and you get the idea. I really said idea a lot there. The next feature I'm going to talk about is the ability to copy this whiteboard because these are great ideas as we said before. Um, so I'm going to copy that by hitting this copy button down here in the bottom, bottom corner. And then what you'll notice is if I go look at the folder view, I have the one that I created and also the copy. And if I wanted to go to the copy, I could tap that and it's going to look exactly like the copy. And that's the copy feature for the whiteboard. Now, if I want to zoom in or out, there's this multi-touch capability. And it gives you the, the experience of like an infinite whiteboard. So if I want to zoom out, I could actually move this over and zoom into a particular area over here. And I could start to draw, you know, a, a circle and a square and a triangle. And I did them in blue, a different color. Um, I can obviously change the line density. So that's a bigger line. This is a smaller line, a more accurate line. So I can change those lines. And then I can zoom out and move over to my other workspace and zoom in. And then the last thing is, after I've done all these features, I could save them into my WebEx space and let others collaborate with these whiteboards either remotely or I could save them to come back to later to take notes or capture these all these great ideas. So that is the WebEx whiteboarding feature. All right, so as we wrap up the WebEx video, there are a couple more features we want to touch on, aka the Touch 10. So you can actually pair a Touch 10 to the WebEx board so you can control it. And this is convenient if you're in a meeting room and you have this on the conference room table, then you don't have to get up and touch the board to join a call or make a call. And so 
Along with that, you can actually hit the call button and make a PSTN call, you can make a SIP call. So those things allow you to call somebody on their cell phone directly, or you could call a third-party conferencing unit using SIP. So there's a ton of other features in the WebEx board that we didn't cover in detail. We covered the main ones, the core ones that you're going to use every day. So if there's anything in this video that we said that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.